haven't seen my Scaranoia video, this one right over here, you'll want to make sure that you watch that because Scaranoia is a lot like Ranzonautica and you'll want to see the creepy thing that happened to me there. But now I find I'm getting results on both apps. Make sure and check it out. My unspoken intention that night was ghost and it took me to my sister's old house where she had lived with her then husband, Jerry, the father of her young children. He died at Clearwater Beach while surfing in December of 2000. My sister has not lived at this address for over 20 years, and her name is not associated with this address anywhere online. I was curious, so I went to Google to search to see if that address was anywhere online attached to anyone in my family, which it was not. In a city as large as mine, Sarasota, Florida, how could Randonautica drop me right in her old backyard? You'll see here that this is the backyard of my sister's house and you'll see the red dot where Randonautica dropped me. A little crazy, don't you think? How would they know that? Makes me wonder. That was my first weird experience with Randonautica, but it certainly was not my last. Two weeks later, my unspoken intention was spirits, but only friendly ones. So it took me to a neighborhood I wasn't real familiar with, back on some roads. I turned on ghost tube to see if any relevant spirit communication would come through as I got to my Randonautica point. When I have ghost tube turned on, I put my phone in airplane mode and any other phones in the car are powered off. So there's no interference that I have to worry about. If you don't know, ghost tube is a spirit box. It's too involved to explain here, but you can learn about it on the creator's YouTube channel, Amy's Crypt. When I arrived at my point, the EMF meter spiked immediately, which tells you that there are spirits around. This is the conversation on ghost tube. Spirit says, can you help me? I said, I can try. What do you need help with? She said, how many shine? I said, how many what? I don't understand. Four minutes pass with nothing. Then she says again, can you help me? I said, I would try, but I need to know what you need help with today. I said, I don't know if I can help you today, depending on what you need, but I'll do my best. Spirit says shovel. I said, shovel. I need a shovel to help you. Are you buried somewhere you're not supposed to be? Spirit says, you're back. I said, I will be back. This is how the responses on ghost tube appear on the app. Spirit says, nobody knows. I said, nobody knows where you are buried or what happened to you. Spirit says, give it back. Who are they? I don't know who they were. Spirit says, lost. I said, you are lost. Nobody knows where you are buried or what happened to you. And you don't know who killed you. I think that's what you're trying to tell me. I can come back tomorrow in the light and look around to see if anything looks suspicious if you want. Spirit says, okay, leave. I said, I am leaving. Spirit says, are you scared? You have to read these from the bottom up to be in the correct order, by the way. Starts at 19 and goes up to one. I said, no, I'm not scared, but it's very late and dark, so there's nothing I can do tonight. I'll come back tomorrow. Spirit says, thank you. I said, you're welcome, but I don't know what bringing me here had anything to do with helping to find you. Spirit said, house, garden. I said, you are buried in the garden of the house? Okay. Two minutes go by with nothing. Then spirit comes back and says, we command it. This often comes through when a dark spirit tries to come in. I said, no one here commands anything of me except Jesus Christ and you are not him. Spirit says, disgusting. I said, yes, that's what you are. No darker evil spirits are allowed around me as I have authority over you through the blood of the one true King, Jesus Christ. And I ended the session. Again, here is the actual. This isn't the first time I've had a dark spirit come in and push out the non evil spirit. I always remind them that I am under the protection of Jesus and I end the session. Have you tried Randonautica or Scaranoia? 
Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know if you have or if you plan to. I know this is not my normal content, but you know how I am when I find something that I'm interested in, as you all know from a year ago if you were around, I'm kind of like a dog with a bone. But I've always been interested in the paranormal, I guess because I've always lived in haunted houses and I have enough true ghost stories from my childhood and everyone in my extended family that I could seriously write a book. It's actually pretty crazy and if I told you some of the things you just would flip. And some things I can't share because they're not my stories but they do belong in my family. Anyway, I guess if you want to look at it this way, you could be a paranormal investigator and that could be a freelance job or a part of gig work, right? So I guess it kind of could tie in. <laughs> hey, any, anything I can do to get it to work in, right? So let me know, is this content that interests you? Would you like me to throw in some random things like this every once in a while? Or half the time? What do you think? You know, because sometimes you get tired of talking about just the gig stuff and you want to talk about something else that's exciting and fun and scary. And it can be scary when it's real and you're face to face with it. That's sometimes really scary. <laughs> anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. I really want to know your opinion. I want to put content on this channel that you all want to watch. So, tell me, what do you want? And please leave this video a like. That really helps out with the algorithm. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I just need, mm, last check, 45 more subs to reach a thousand, which I'm really shooting for. I understand if you don't want to, that's okay too. As long as you keep coming back watching the videos. Um, but the subscribing and liking the videos it really does help the channel out. Hopefully 2024 will be great and I can bring you guys some really good content that you enjoy and be a little more regular on the uploads. I'll try. Okay, you guys have a great night and thanks for watching. Bye.